All right, so we're in Illustrator, and I'll import that image of our character. Go to File, Place, Find Your Image, hit Place, click, and there it is. Now I'm going to name the layer, double click the layer, I'll call it Image, and I'll dim the images to 50% by clicking this checkbox here, and that tints it back just a little bit. I'll lock the layer, create a new layer, double click it, and name it Head, because I'll start on the head shape. Now it's important to name all your layers, because when you import it into Flash or Animate, it'll retain all the named layers and makes it better organized. So I'll go to my tool palette, grab the brush tool, make sure that the stroke is black or whatever color you're working with, no fill, and we're just going to concern ourselves with the outline and not the interior color just yet. One more thing, I go up to the five point round brush definition up here, double click the first one, and I'll change the size to two point, the fixed to pressure, and the variation to two point. Hit OK, and there's my line stroke. So I'll go up to the head shape and just trace that outer line of the head shape. And that'll do. You might have to go in and fix some of these points and smooth it out, refine it a little bit. So that's my basic head shape. Now I'm going to create all these interior lines, these hair, the ear, and these whiffs of hair. Instead of just going to the edge and trying to fit it in, I'll actually start on the outside of the head shape and draw through my shape. Same thing over here and for the ear. And don't worry, we'll take care of all these lines on the outside that we don't want. So we're going to grab or select all those lines we just made for the head. Go to Object, Expand, Back to Object, Live Paint, click Make, go back to Object, Live Paint, and then Expand. And what that does is that it cuts all those extraneous shapes into their own shape. So now grab your direct selection tool, the white arrow, click on one of those shapes you don't want, and delete it. You can get rid of all these shapes up here. And you're left with exactly what you want. The head shape, the ear, the hair, all contained in one shape. I go over to Pathfinder, hit Unite, and now it's truly all one shape. Now I'll do that method for every single body part. The body, the arms, the legs, the hands, the backpack, the ponytail, the hat, everything. So I'll create a new layer. I'll name it body. And I'll hide the head layer for now. Zoom in a little bit. Using your brush tool, make sure the stroke is active and not the fill. And now just start tracing my simple body shape. Remember to draw through your shapes. Once again, select all those lines, go to Object, Expand, Back to Object, 
Live paint make. Back to object again. Live paint expand. Grab your direct selection tool, the white arrow. Select all those shapes that you don't want and hit delete. And you'll notice sometimes it leaves these weird shapes up here. So you have to zoom in closely to get rid of them. Tiny little shapes. Select that, go to Pathfinder, hit Unite, and now it's just one shape. And I'll go back in and refine some of these points and these shapes, smooth out some of the lines, Let me turn that head shape back on. So you can see it's starting to take shape. Now I'll do this to the, all the arms, all the leg shapes, the mouth, the hands, everything. So I'm going to turn off the video now and take care of all the line work so I don't bore you. It'll be instantaneous for you, but for me it'll take a little time. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I've done all the line work, the arms, the legs, the hands, the mouth, everything that this character needs to be animated, or at least do a walk or run cycle. If you look at my layers palette, I've broken down each body part on their own layer and named each layer. And I try to arrange them so that the head is above the body, the legs are below the body, and I also have a layer up here called parts, which are basically all the arm and leg shapes, but we can dive into that when we create our libraries and animate. Okay, so our line work is done. Our next lesson is coloring our character.